Well, spring has sprung and that means the planting season is starting. Eating seasonal produce has lots of benefits for your health and joining me live in studio for the first time in I think over two years. A long time. Yeah, registered dietitian <laughs> with Albertsons, Molly Tevis. Molly, so good to see you in person again. Welcome so in. You. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. This is great. Yeah. We glad. actually get to have food right in front of us. I know. Normally I'm just drooling from afar and now I can <laughs> drool here from back here, I guess. Yeah. Okay, so uh, of course, big question. What are the benefits of, or what would you say the benefits of eating seasonally are? So when we're eating seasonally, we're picking out those fresh fruits and vegetables that are grown in that season at their peak right so they're gonna be full of nutrition they're going to taste wonderful and a little bit more sustainable less traveling that those fruits and veggies have to do okay gotcha yes. now um, think I'm thinking about seasonally so this this would be what we're looking at in season some of these things right, right here yep. so spring produce that is popping up so asparagus carrots radishes peas you know all of those really crunchy bright veggies that we love to work into our diet throughout the year gosh and would you say that that's some of your uh, favorite produce picks Th those are some of my favorite produce picks that's right you beat me to it so even cucumbers <laughs> fall in there strawberries um, so kind of working in those bright colors full of nutrition yeah. crunch and variety it is so nice to be seeing how just like you said how bright yes. this is so speaking of what is this I mean what I, do we I have? think we know know what some of these are but why don't we why don't we talk about it yes so I know you've been eyeing this I so have. this is actually a watermelon radish a watermelon yep. radish so if you're not you know a traditional radish fan maybe you try your you know your taste buds on some watermelon radish it's okay. beautiful and it's got that nice crunch and kind of zing to it as well um, you know carrots mint asparagus Asparagus, asparagus oh. comes in multitude of colors, so you can incorporate white or purple asparagus. Oh, I forget about that. Sure. That makes it kind of fun, especially if you've got little ones at home kind of changing up the colors. Yeah. And then peas, you know, a little crunch pop. And surprisingly, peas are a good source of protein. Real? Oh, yeah. Yep. I see like pea yep. protein and exactly. stuff Exactly. Like sure. So they can be a protein source for you throughout the spring. Okay, gotcha. What is this? What is happening over yeah, here? What's, what's going on here? Because we see healthy, healthy, and that looks like it looks like General Sow's chicken. I'm sure it's not. <laughs> nope, nope. But so you know, we always got to have a little bit of a sweet treat, right? So sure. I have your mason jar salads that you can make featuring all of your spring produce. You wow. can either have them on the go, have them for lunch, have them for dinner. But sometimes we want to have a little bit of a sweet treat. We do. Um, so I know it's early this morning, but we have a little uh, dessert kebab. So Ooh. they are donut holes featuring strawberries. Wow. So just a good little perfect portion, small bites, a little bit of your sweet treat, plus featuring the beautiful strawberry. And that's a good idea right there. Uh, if you're, I mean, of course, so many of us are sweet tooths out there or however you <laughs> phrase that we like sweets yeah well, there it is yeah uh, but I mean if you're gonna have to do something like that just incorporate a little fruit right. right yep and keeping it that smaller size you get just what you need satisfy that craving and you're getting in the health benefits from the strawberries that's right and also I love the idea of your mason jar uh, little salads right. is take that something you've go. been doing for a while or something yes, that's so super you know portable take it with you pack it for lunch you know kind of early for you but you could have it this morning um, and I like to layer them so that way my veggies don't get soggy if I'm adding dressing put the dressing on the bottom layer all your produce on top put the lid on and out the door you go oh absolutely beautiful setup here all right uh, and we are out of time so for anybody else who might have any other questions where can they go you can always head into your local Albertsons or visit albertsons.com easy enough yes. joining us live in studio today Albertsons dietitian Thank Molly you. Tevis thanks Thank for being you. here yes all right